it's time for another episode on the Hermitcraft server. In the previous one, we built this rather ridiculous looking thing in the center of my base. And I've said it about a hundred times now, but I am so happy to have things beginning to be built in the center here because I've been stressing. I've been stressing out a lot. We built out the outside without any real plan for what I was going to do as the main centerpiece. But this is looking seriously, seriously cool. I invested a lot of time into this thing and I'm very glad that I did. All of the details have worked out really, really nicely. It's looking properly ruined. And that is exactly the style that I am going for here. Which, for anyone who missed the explanation in the previous episode, is also something that I mentioned earlier on. This is meant to be like an ancient monument that a futuristic civilization is, is protecting and preserving, a bit like how we protect ancient monuments nowadays. This is like that a couple thousand years in the future. I personally think it's quite an interesting concept and to start things off in today's episode, I actually want to do a little bit of work on this thing. You see, we've got we've got this tower right here. We're actually gonna have four of those towers on all the diagonals going around like this, but these towers are the most important things probably with this build because these are the things that tie them in to the outside parts of the base. So we've got the bottom section so far, but I think I want to take this right the way up to its actual full height so we can get a feel for how big this thing is actually going to be. And before I start, I think this is going to be a lot harder than it actually looks, to be honest with you. There's a lot of challenging angles and diagonals and, and measurements I'm going to have to take, which we all know I tend to struggle with. You know, it's like third times the charm is the rule that I live by on this. But I guess we should just get the ball rolling and see what happens, eh? The answer is many, many mistakes. <laughs> um, but I think I'm now on the right track. So I've done, I've done one diagonal, then up, and then this is the second tier right here. And then we're going up again, and then there's another tier. And I, I can't remember if there's another tier after this, to be honest. And I, I will never get an answer to that question because I've forgotten how many tiers I mentioned. Anyway, I've reached the top of where I go. You can see we are currently in the central block here. So that means that if we build up this next tower, it will come up and it will meet this point. So we'll have all of the diagonals running up and they will run into this point right here. And then from there, we'll have a central spire going up from this i guess it would kind of be like a square but an off axis square in the center here that i suppose will go up to a point but we are currently at y equals 209 so let's quickly just take a look at how this thing is looking i actually haven't seen this on the hermitcraft server just yet but that looks pretty cool so that is the underside of this tower now we have to do the overside or the top side of it. So it goes up like this and then also the other sides as well. So then we kind of have a box. It actually is a tower and each one of those is now all done as well. I've done both sides of it and also the top and bottom. So now we can get a feel for this thing as a 3D object. Obviously, it's, it's really difficult to look at this sort of thing. I remember it was the same thing with these outlines. They looked good. But they look kind of strange because you can see through. It's difficult to judge all the dimensions and things. But it looks cool. And I like how these line up with this. And I like how the top section lines up with that. It all feels uniform. It all feels like it's pointed towards the same point. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. So, uh, I was, I was just, I was picking up some resources and things like that from my end of chest, you know, chucking shulker boxes around, and a creeper came along and blew me up, and as I was picking up the resources and putting them back into the shulker box and things, I noticed this. <laughs> <laughs> now I feel like, I feel like there were some other signs with this. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna get like a partial message here, but let's see if we can make sense of it. Mayor Mumbo. Mumbo, I don't know if you know, but you are kind of being campaigned for by me to be mayor. So this is this is clearly from Grian. I maybe should have told you, I'm guessing he probably said there. Then maybe said some other stuff. A meeting as soon as you can let me know and meet me. Well, I mean I don't know where this meeting is going to be. I don't know what the meeting is going to be about. <laughs> but I guess we should get in contact with Grian. And he just told me that we'd meet up at the headquarters, which I pretended to know about, because if I told him the signs blew up, then he'd laugh at me. Mumbo Jumbo. Hello? Our, our future mayor. The future mayor. <laughs> the future mayor. <laughs> that is very, very confident of you. That is... 
I mean, <laughs> the pressure's definitely on. I feel like a lot of people have heard about this Mumbo for Mayor thing, and yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I don't know what's going on, mate. To be honest with you, I I've kind of been oh, caught a little bit off guard. Well, I can I, I'll fill you in. Um, so. I'm campaigning for you to be mayor, <laughs> and <laughs> that's a thing. And right. I've made a headquarters for us. Oh, sweet! So it, we actually have like, so we have a place that is, it's like a a, a den, like a hub where we can conduct mayoral activities and like exactly. form. Exactly. Uh, all right. Okay. Well, I'm. But I thought I thought I'd meet you here because I wanted you to try the the diamond throne on for size. See how it see how it fits. Am I allowed to actually stand there? I mean, I'm not. Yeah. yeah there's there's no mayor to tell you off, is there? <laughs> that's, that's very true, actually. Yeah. Who's gonna stop me? How do I look? Do I suit it? Um. Yeah. You don't. Y- yeah. Y- you you yeah. look interesting. I'm gonna get down. It's, I yeah. I, my face. I'm gonna say. I'll say yeah. the thing. I'll say the thing. I'll say it's very you. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> It's not my face is my face doesn't suit these sorts of things. I can't have this sort of luxury with a, with not a face a, like this, can I? Not a, not at the moment. Not no. at the moment. Look at this. Stop over here for a second. <laughs> take take a look at this. <laughs> well, it's very obvious whose headquarters yep. it is. No one. It is being... on brand. It is on brand. <laughs> no one's being mistaken there. This is like I I don't even know how to describe this. This is like the worst superhero base ever, and I mean that in like a positive <laughs> way. Fair take enough. a seat. Take a okay. seat. Okay. Uh, and and let us start our first mayoral campaign meeting. It is exciting. It is exciting. Okay, so obviously you're running for me to be mayor. That's Mm-hmm. It was unexpected, okay, but it, clearly the people want it because it seems to have it seems to have gotten around. It seems to be very popular. Like, I'm hearing nothing but mumbo for mayor at this point in time, which is great. Our mayoral campaign is clearly onto a winner. The one question that I do have for you though is like, what, what? How does one? How does one do mayoral stuff? Like, what does a mayor do? What is the plan for our campaign? Because you know, I'm I'm feeling good about this positive momentum, but I feel like we need to back it up with some some good plans and strategies for mayoral stuff. Oh, you know. Uh, and I thought th- you might have. You didn't see the poster. You saw the poster, right? Yeah, I mean, I saw the poster, but that's just advertising the mayoral that, campaign. What? What do we that's plan? The, plan. the poster is the plan. Mumbo for mayor, right? <laughs> <laughs> Mumbo for mayor? Plan. Wait, There's what? the plan right there in red no, and white. No, 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 that can't be the plan. Dude, no. No, no, the advertisement for the mayoral campaign isn't the plan. That's just telling people that I'm running for mayor. That's not I, a plan. There's no plan there. That's just... I, don't, I don't know what mayors do. They sit on the diamond throne and stuff. And I don't think that's all I, they do. They've got other I, things to do, Grian. But, but the poster. But the mayor... <laughs> Look at the poster, Mumbo. I mean, that's a good poster. I mean, if there, if the, if ever a poster was was the plan, it's been executed <laughs> well. <laughs> okay, I haven't really got a plan. I didn't think I'd get this far. I didn't think anything through. Uh, uh, what, what, what is the plan then? I don't know. I, why am I asking you? What? I was totally expecting a plan. If we've got this sweet headquarters, we don't even have a plan. We just have a poster and a moustache that's sat on I an island. Of- yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we can, we'll need to make a plan. Okay. Well, I'm. I mean, well, you want me to make a plan? Well, you know, together we can. I'm sure we can come up with something. You sure the poster's not enough for the? <laughs> I mean, I'm starting to think that maybe the poster's enough. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well. Uh, well, clearly putting our heads together has has absolutely brought nothing nothing meaningful to the table i think i think that's fair to say i mean i've got no ideas do you have any ideas right now like i i my brain is completely empty right now i got nothing okay uh, poster okay plan. that's all that's all your brain is just going poster 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 okay so what if i mean there has to be some other we, we could bring someone in who knows about meryl stuff potentially Ooh, uh, i don't know if we i don't know if i trust anyone with okay. the, the campaign yeah well, what if I was to, what if I was to build some some someone? You know, I could build I could someone. Build someone. Yeah, we could build someone <laughs> to come into the campaign, like artificial intelligence style redstone oh, like engineering. A, okay, like a robot. Yeah, like a robot, like a, a redstone machine. Yes, a Meryl bot, a, a, a green mumbo Meryl bot, a grum grum bot. <laughs> 
A Grumbot. A Grumbot. <laughs> we can make a Grumbot. Grumbot the Meryl Bot. That is... Grumbot the Grumbot the Meryl Bot. <laughs> I am frequently astounded by what's possible with redstone, so I'm not even a little bit surprised. I Okay, so I think I think we could definitely do that. Um, like, so, a, like an eight ball thing it just tells us the exactly. answers it, it tells us, us answer. exactly what to we, do exactly I love it yeah so we, I love we it. present a mayoral question perhaps we feed it some mayoral information so it knows what to do and yep. then and then and then we ask it mayoral questions and it gives us mayoral answers and then mayor okay cool no I I'm down with that okay so okay. if I I can build the outside of it because yes. I don't know redstone and then yep. you do the technical doodads on the inside okay yeah and then we got a grumbot could you take your helmet off for me just one sec? Yeah, yeah, no problem. No, uh, well, I mean... Duh! I... Duh! <laughs> Duh! I was, yeah, I was about to say, maybe, actually, I took that off very hastily. I probably should have given you, <laughs> like, a couple seconds to warm up. <laughs> that is not the face of someone people are gonna is going to vote for. I'm just... I'm, I'm going to put sure? that out there. Please don't take any offense to it. I wouldn't vote for you. And I'm right. I'm running for you. I'm running this campaign, yeah. and I yeah. would currently would not vote. You need to get your mustache back. In the meantime, yeah. I'm gonna send you a skin to right. solve this problem. Okay. And I need you I need you to put it on, okay? One skin swap later? Much better. Really? I haven't looked yet. <laughs> what do I could you give me like an audio description as to Um Have I got I got it's like so you take like a, a paper and you pop it on your head. That's Basically, you, what's happened? You made, that sounded like you were putting a piece of paper on your own head. <laughs> I was, yeah. I was. <laughs> that's, that's really well. Okay, let me. Oh my goodness! I've got a handle and everything. Have I got a logo on the back of my head? Was yeah, this yeah. Just turn your around, lunch turn around. Bag? It was just, <laughs> this is my lunch. Bag. It feels greasy. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, there might be a little, might be a little burger grease in there yeah, somewhere. Some but spare chips, <laughs> <laughs> a couple of, couple of dried chips in there. Yeah. Um, and I've drawn, drawn a little mumbo face on it. I yeah, must admit, yeah. way better. I'd okay. vote for you. Okay, but I still should probably get my. You my... need the real deal. Well, hopefully we can get that shortly because although the bag is definitely better, it's still not great, is it? Now my plan for this next part of the Hermitcraft episode is to continue working on the base a little bit more. There's still a whole ton of things that I want to get done in today's Hermitcraft episode. I think the main thing that I want to do is actually work out the shape of this tower because obviously we've got we've got one of the segments in place. But there's still three more to go, and also I wouldn't mind working out just the final height. That final, final template up at the top there that's going right the way upwards, the spire, that's not actually something that I've done yet at all, so I've got to experiment with that. I am struggling so much with the mental maths on how to get this diagonal here mirrored. For some reason I just can't get it into my head how I would do it. It doesn't seem to make any sense to me how it should work that it goes there and then arrow no that's good it's meant to be going arrows this way but i can't i can't seem to make it do that here comes the moment of truth is this actually going to meet up properly with the other build yes it is and that is the best news ever because that means that this totally unplanned one, one that I had like no idea on the dimensions of, has actually functioned and has met up with the other one. <laughs> Alright, okay, so now that we've got that, first off, you know how I do things, I have to fly away and spin around and look at this thing, that looks completely bonkers, this is going to be a ridiculous looking build, especially when we get all of this going up through the centre as well, and start ruining everything, I mean this looks nuts. This looks seriously, seriously cool, so that's great. And what's even greater is that I now know that I can build these tower things, these tower templates, based off of the dimensions of the other one. So once you've built one, you then can kind of base your next tower on what the other ones are doing and just make sure that they line up height-wise, and then you can just you can build it. This shouldn't actually be too complicated from this point forth. He says with a lot of hope in his heart. <laughs> a ton of hope in his heart. I'm in a bit of a strange situation right now in that I'm having to go out and mine for stone. That's not a big deal. Originally, I just did... I, I thought I wasn't going to need that much. So I took out a small hole underneath my base and then gradually it's grown and grown in size and I can't stop removing from it. Eventually, our hill might actually end up being hollow, which would be awful. I am gradually, and I mean very, very gradually, getting faster at building these things. With that being said, 
as I hit record then, I forgot... I forgot how to do it! <laughs> I don't believe it! I've been, I've been so fluid! Okay, there we go. There we go. There, it's always the way. It's always the way. Anyway, despite that slight embarrassment there, uh, that is this one all finished and completed. So now we have got two of the towers in place. Time to build the other half of it. This is half the tower done, other half now. But actually, before we do, we should probably look at how it actually is looking. Very, very, very cool. Very cool. This, this build actually dwarfs these. <laughs> That that has really put into perspective this build makes these look small and these are huge. I am gradually just going through and destroying more and more areas around my base. <laughs> like so I've hollowed out that whole hill, that's all disappeared. Now I've taken to hollowing out the area around my base. I mean, this is just laziness because I don't want to move my beacon. But I guess it's not laziness because I'm spending hours upon hours on this project and I'm using inventories upon inventories of stone. That's not lazy. We are getting there. It is now very, very late at this point in time, but we're getting there. Three out of the four are now completed. I have got one more to do. And you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna champ on through. I have got, I have got a bowl. Listen to this. That is a bowl of Harry bows next to me that I've poured from a three kilogram bag. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> this is going to be pure sugar rush. And you know what? I'd love to say that it was an accident that I bought the three kilogram bag. No, I, I saw that it was three kilograms and I thought to myself, uh, would it be really embarrassing if I bought three kilos? And then I thought, I'll tell anyone who asks that I accidentally bought three kilograms of Harry bows when in reality, I, I, I bought them. Because I wanted three kilograms of Harry Bows. Oh no! <laughs> if the embarrassment of admitting that three kilograms of Harry Bows are currently sat on my desk wasn't enough, I've just built this completely wrong. And I have to start from the beginning. Thankfully it's only this one, it's not all of them. Unless that one's wrong and maybe this one's right. I'm not going to think about that just yet though because otherwise I will cry a lot. Thankfully though, Tango has just responded to my messages. It looks like we might get my moustache back, so I suppose that might brighten my mood a tiny bit. Let's meet up with him and do some form of trade. Look, I've just had a meeting with Green, okay, we've discussed things for the mayor, mumbo for mayor <laughs> stuff, and it's all positive, it's all good, but he did stipulate that my horrendous face can't run for mayor, so we've put a bag on my head. I right? get it, I get it. <laughs> I mean, it's... <laughs> Uh, unsuitable, I suppose. Yeah, look at this bag. That is glorious. The handle and yep. oh, that is yep. mm -hmm. logos. All right. All. Well, it's nice I to see mean, my mustache again. It's doing fantastic. I mean, it's it's so happy here. I must say. <laughs> but yeah, I hate to say it. I mean, as I say, Green has stipulated that as I'm running for mayor, I need to. I need to. You know, my, this, my face is not trustworthy, apparently, and it's just... I... yeah, I had a feeling this day would come soon. So, um, so how does one uh, acquire a moustache back? You know, how well, does that... Yeah, you know... see, I mean, that's the problem there. I mean, you remember what we went through last time. I mean, there was chainsaws It was involved. a lot. <laughs> it was, it was a lot. Yeah, it was, it was a lot, right? It, it was, was a lot. Extreme. And, and I don't know that it's going to be any easier this time, so... I, I mean, I, I have one idea. Right. I think there's, I think this might be crazy, right? But there's only one thing I think on this server that can provide enough, shall I say, force even, force to just Goodness me. get this thing off. I know, I know. Force to just rip this off my face and oh get gosh. it back on yours. I, I have an idea. It's not going to be comfortable. All right, Mumbo. So here's the plan. Here's right. the plan. All right. Up there in the, the third story window, okay. I have. A Ravager launcher. Now, a Ravager launcher doesn't launch Ravagers. Instead, the Ravagers launch the players at great, great pace. Perfect. Yes! Whoa, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Whoa that is so ridiculous. <laughs> See? I, I just Love appeared and, like, on the office. Are you in the shopping district? <laughs> yeah, I'm just over by the end building. A Here I come. <laughs> <laughs> You're kind of stuck in the sky for Whoa, me. Oh, yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That was so strange. Dude, I've just had a thought. I've got I've got a bag on my head. Is that going to affect things? Like, will the bag, will the moustache oh. just hit the outside of the bag? Yeah, no, yeah, you're going to have to expose yourself. Just hit, yeah, you really? got to get it off there. Because the moustache to moustache transfer, I mean, scientifically proven, it's not going to happen with, with the bag in the way. So it can tear through time and space, but it can't tear through the but thin paper, paper of this bag. <laughs> yeah. Right, right, right. You got it, you got it, you fully understand. Okay, 
Waiting. There, there he is. is. There he is. Bam! <laughs> you're looking like your dapper self. <laughs> Am I? Stop. Oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> it feels so much better to oh, be like this. I look like I just shaved. Like, I got used to it. <laughs> <laughs> you look really young. I know. <laughs> they say when you shave your beard, it takes like 10 years off. That's exactly what I feel like. <laughs> More than. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, Tango baby face. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, I mean, this is this has been this has been this has been good. I, I've got I've got my mustache back. I'm now looking handsome. Uh, you, you look at you! Yeah, you're full glory. You are ready to run for office now. Yeah, I feel very mayoral all of a sudden, and I, I'm mm-hmm. I'm feeling I'm feeling good. So thanks for that. I mean, it did it itches. That's all I'll say. It just itches. It, it, it's a, a brief sting. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> but there was that was actually nothing compared to what what we went through to remove it from my face. So this is this is how we should switch mustaches from this point forth. I think it's safe to say that. that that was a huge success and goodness me does it feel good to be back with this mustache once again anyway i've managed to work out the problem that we were having yet you remember you know i built all this wrong yet i've i've managed to find the problem so now it's time to start building again by the way i totally expected this to take about four hours maximum we're on quite a lot longer than that at the minute gradually the more and more i build of these the more and more mistakes i make Things keep going wrong. The effect of the Harry Bows has worn off. I am now entirely operating on my own brain and it's not good. And I just realized I haven't been recording Minecraft audio for any of this. Yes! In case you couldn't tell, that was the most sarcastic yes that I could possibly manage. Anyway, here we are. We are approaching the very top. I have wanted this moment for a very long time. And there it is. Yes, everything meets up. All of the points intersect. This is now the point in which we're going to build the spire from. But I'm going to be honest, I think I just want to see what this thing looks like, to be honest. Wild! <laughs> Look how crazy that is! <laughs> that is absolutely nuts. I need to increase my render distance so we can actually see what's going on here. Let's go right the way up to 38 chunks. Watch my computer catch on fire. Wow! This base is properly coming together. So there we go. I'm all out of firework rockets. I'm just going to stand on top of this tree, which has been beautifully crafted by Scar, complete with bamboo. I mean, this is stunning. Look at this. Look, he's even put he's even put string on top of the bamboo so that it doesn't grow too tall. That is a level of detail that I would love to achieve. Anyway, this is... Well, this is just nuts. <laughs> This is such a ridiculous base. I've gone so overboard, and I absolutely love it. Well, this has been a fun episode to record. A whole lot of things have happened. We've made a ton of progress on the base. I've also got my moustache back, and we have plans for marriage. I mean, what more could you possibly want? I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya! Now, for those of you who follow me on Twitter, you will know about this, but this has been the first episode that I've recorded with my bike above my desk. You see, I don't have a shed at my house, and I haven't found a good place to store my bike, and then I thought to myself, well, I could probably just store it above my desk so I use my shelf hooks and things like that it's up there I've been so wary of any noise because if any if this falls I mean everything's breaking